The Guardian presents itself as the ideal defensive frontline subclass of Chivalry 2. With a massive shield and specialized one-handed weapons, it embodies what it means to be a wall of iron. Today, we're going to go over every aspect of this subclass in depth to leave you with all the information you need to properly guard your team. Plant yourself like a tree and get ready to defend. The Guardian is a knight. This means heavy defense and low mobility. Your armored stature leaves you with the slowest movement speed in the game, but you can be sure that you'll brush off kicks, jabs, and low damage bladed weapons with ease. You are, however, susceptible to the damage bonuses of chop and blunt weapons to make up for the boost in health. Be wary for anything that resembles an iron baseball bat, as they can and will two-shot you. The Guardian has a focused kit composed of exclusively one-handed weapons, one of which is unique. Moreover, all of these weapons are complemented by the Guardian's unique item. Your primary weapons consist of the Warhammer, a strong but short blunt weapon that acts as a slower but more powerful alternative to the mace. It has a special that hits like a truck. The Axe, a meteor option with an emphasis on powerful overheads but shorter range. The Falchion, a slightly longer bladed weapon that has a relatively high base damage at the cost of speed. The One-Handed Spear, a long range option with decent damage and a special that leaps way further than it should but not a lot of versatility in its attack options. The Heavy Cavalry Sword, a weapon with great reach and relatively low speed and damage, but an odd acclamation to horses, having increased speed and damage when playing on horseback. In an effort to complement the shortcomings of your primaries, you're entitled to take on a secondary, but with some of them being fairly robust options. Your secondaries consist of the Hatchet, a smaller, lower damage variant of the axe with a slight speed increase. The short sword, a faster, lower damage version of the sword with reduced range. The mace, a knight's worst enemy that does great work at the cost of hit stop, but it pairs well with any bladed primary. Lastly, for the guardian's tertiary, you have the selection of three shields. The heavy shield can be paired with any one-handed weapon in your kit and will provide significant stamina during negation at the expense of its own durability. The shield has 400 HP, but does not take damage bonuses from chop or blunt weapons. After all of the shield's durability is depleted, it will be broken and cannot be restored, even using ammo boxes. However, shield durability can be conserved by using counters, which don't consume any shield durability whatsoever. You can also place the shield on your back and take it out whenever you see fit. The heavy shield also passively protects against all arrows, projectiles, and throwables, even when placed on your back. It will even stave off a ballista bolt, although this will fully consume the shield's durability. When it comes to arrows, the shield is a beast. Using the actual block button will increase the shield's hitbox against arrows, offering somewhat of an arrow force field, at least facing forward. Regarding the medium and light shield, you'd be trading durability for movement speed and jab damage, with both of those scaling up the smaller the shield you decide. I won't go into too much detail on either of these, as they were just recently added to Guardian. Overall, the Guardian kit, although limiting, gets the job done with sufficient arms supported by a powerful offhand item that allows you to defend you and your allies with impressive potency. Lastly, the Guardian is granted the best defensive ability in the game, the Banner a plantable construct that provides area of effect healing to all nearby players as long as it remains standing. A banner is a great way to inspire your team by providing steady, consistent healing on the objective. Although it's important to note that the healing properties of the banner are reduced the more people that it heals. Despite this fact, it is still best to prioritize healing crowds of teammates as much as possible. All that armor has its uses. Being a knight grants the Guardian the ability to tackle enemies. I won't go too in-depth on tackling as I already have in a previous video linked in the above card, but to sum it up, when used correctly, the tackle can leave an enemy open to your allies' attacks while simultaneously granting you a free strike. Tackling with your shield in hand will also thrust the shield forward, protecting you against projectiles while you're in the tackle animation. 
Unfortunately, those metal plates take their toll. Endurance isn't your strong suit, so you suffer from a 50% increased dodge cooldown. Use that get out of jail free card sparingly. Being a guardian, you're the defensive powerhouse of your team. Place yourself on the front line in a way that allows you to defend your allies in need without putting yourself in significant amounts of danger. And use your banner in areas that allow it to maximize healing without endangering it by placing it too forward. Due to your lack of range, you're not going to be dishing out loads of damage, but you can at least hold off people individually with the superior stamina management granted by your shield along with some well-placed attacks. This should properly utilize your passive, Unbreakable, which allows you to further replenish your banner while absorbing damage. You can get hit, block, and even counter incoming attacks to trigger this. This creates a situation where you're rewarded for leaning into your role. By tanking damage for the team and playing on the front line, you'll generate charge for your banner, allowing you to use it more often. All this is fine, however, be careful. You are not just as slow as a knight, but depending on your choice of shield, you're slower. While you should hold the front line to the best of your ability, overextending is an easy way to get surrounded. With the help of your shield, it should be simple to get out of a pinch if you play correctly, but that will eat up tons of durability. Play smart. Overall, the Guardian is a wonderful defensive class with some interesting tools that allow for a unique gameplay loop. Although I believe that his speed and lack of range keep him relatively less effective on offense, because of this, I believe the Guardian is B tier on offense and S tier on defense. Now get out there and defend the objective.